If your motorized roller shade has a Sumphy rechargeable motor, it will need to be recharged one to two times a year. This video will instruct you how to connect and recharge the motor. There are two items you might need prior to recharging the motor, an extension cord and a step ladder. The plug-in charger only comes with a six foot cable. So unless you have a short window with an outlet close by, you'll need an extension cord. You also need to be able to reach the top of the shade. If the top of the shade is out of reach, you'll need to use a step ladder. When the battery gets low, a small light on the end of the motor will flash red. If you cannot see the light, your only recharge indication may come when the shade stops working altogether. Begin by locating the connection pigtail on the motor end of the shade. This wire will be found at the top of the shade on the motor side of the shade. The end of the wire may be held by a clip or tucked into a bracket so that it isn't easily seen. Once you locate the wire, let it hang down and join the recharger wire to the motor wire, making sure that the two ends are oriented to properly lock together. Once the charger is connected to the motor pigtail, plug the charger into an outlet or extension cord. When you first plug the charger in, the LED light on the charger will glow red, which will slowly turn to orange and then to green when the charging is complete. It could take approximately four to five hours to completely charge the motor. When the charging is complete, unplug the charger from the wall and then disconnect the charging cable from the motor cable by pinching the tabs on the head of the charger cable and gently pulling the two apart. Make sure you re-secure the motor cable in the clip or bracket where you originally found it. Do not let the motor cable hang down freely. It could get caught in the operation of the shade and damage the shade or the charger. You have now successfully recharged your shade. Another charge should not be needed for several months.